In today's video, we're going to be giving you guys five tips on how to keep your leopard frogs. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hostway from Hostway's Exotics. And if you guys are new to the channel, I make videos about reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them, just like this video here. So make sure you consider subscribing. So as you guys can tell from the video title, we're gonna be giving you guys a couple tips on how to keep your leopard frogs happy, safe, and growing. So to start out, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of background information about what the leopard frog is. So, so the scientific name for the leopard frog is gonna be the Rana spinocephalus more specifically being the southern leopard frog, which is the particular species that I have. Named for the dark spots that they have on their back, leopard frogs are semi-aquatic frogs, meaning that they like to live on land and in water. And right now there's probably about 14 different species of them. They're super cool frogs for watching and stuff like that, but they're not the best for handling, unfortunately. But like most frog species, these guys are pretty easy to help maintain and keep living. So for the number one rule with keeping leopard frogs or frogs in general is always wash your hands before and after handling. The reason being is that frogs generally have a semi-permeable skin that allows chemicals and other things like grease and oils to actually transfer through the skin in and out through their body, through their circulatory system. So it's highly important to always make sure you keep your hands clean when you're going to go mess with your frogs or anything like that. So that way you don't pass any harmful chemicals to them. So that way they can live their life to the fullest and be with you for a long time. A lot of people recommend to use gloves and things when you need to handle your frogs. I say as long as you wash your hands before and after everything should be fine because they do carry salmonella, which is a harmful bacteria to us as humans. So I would definitely, you know, recommend to wash your hands so that way you don't have any issues with that as well. And this is leading to our second most important tip. Always provide fresh water for all your amphibians. So as I mentioned before, these guys are semi-aquatic frogs, meaning that they live both on land and in water. So you would have to replicate this in an actual habitat that you're going to be having in your home. So I would recommend getting a pretty large water dish, or if you're going to do something with an actual water pump in it with some with water filters and things like that, I would highly recommend to do that as well. But there has been studies that show that the pumps and things like that from the sounds do tend to mess with the frogs and could agitate them a little bit, but it's not really that big of a deal. But if you want to go that route, this is definitely a good way too. But me personally, I just use a pretty large water dish. But the issue with this is you're gonna have to change the water out maybe twice a week because they do poop and hang out a lot in the water bowl. So you're gonna have to definitely keep that clean for them. And the next thing I would use is right here. Uh, it's gonna be some Reptisafe water conditioner. It helps to dechlorinate the water and other things like that. So you can always make sure that you're giving your amphibians the best quality water because straight tap water isn't necessarily the best thing for them because it does have other minerals and things in it that we need as humans that they don't necessarily need being amphibians. So quality of water and the actual size of your water bowl is gonna be a real important thing for these guys, especially as they grow, because like I mentioned before, they're semi-aquatic, so they have to have both that land and water to actually maintain a pretty good healthy lifestyle. So moving on to the third tip, this is make sure you find the right heating and lighting for this animal. So if you do a little bit of research or if you know about these guys in the wild, they can generally be found thriving between temperatures of 70 to about 80 degrees with a meeting temperature of around 75 degrees. So this is pretty close to house temperature, so you're not gonna really have to do any heating or any extra additional lighting or anything like that. So just window light and everything is fine and regular house temperatures. But what I would do is if you're gonna use like a bioactive setup, which is something I would highly recommend for just frogs in general, they tend to thrive a little bit better. It helps to hold humidity and make sure you got your isopods and things in there as well. It'll help with the cleanup. So with the live plants, what I would do is I would get you some kind of LED light. LEDs still put out a little bit of warmth, so they need a little bit of additional heating. That'll be their form, but it also helps to put out UVB and to help your plants grow. So for tip number four is going to be substrate. So for substrate, what I would recommend to use, since I mentioned before, these guys are semi-aquatic, they live on land and water. 
I would get you something that's going to be a mixture of different kinds of materials. So I would probably get you some Eco Earth type of cocoa fiber mix and mix that with some sphagnum moss and mix that with some cypress mulch and give them a more natural looking, more ground type soil and substrate. Because these guys do tend to like to burrow, so this is going to give them a little bit of space that they can burrow around and move stuff. And it's also going to give some stability for your plants that you want to put in there and other things like that as well. And all that stuff helps to hold moisture and humidity, so that way it's not going to be uh, much of a problem. Especially if you're using like an aquarium or something like that. As far as like the depth of the substrate that you kind of want to use, I would at least recommend to use two to three inches of substrate so that way they have a pretty good amount of space so that way they can do their burrowing and other frog stuff. So for tip number five is super simple, boom, Reptivite. I would highly recommend to use this stuff uh, since you're gonna be using feeder insects and things like that. Uh, this is a real good product for pretty much all reptiles and amphibians if you're looking to get some extra multivitamins and things like that actually into your animal. Since you're gonna be using feeder insects, they, they tend to lack a little bit of vitamin D and calcium. So this stuff helps to uh, get this back into your animal so that way you're not missing anything and they're getting all the health and nutrition that they need to live throughout their life. So with the Reptivite, I'll probably only dust them maybe two times a week, the creeks that you feed to your animals. And this would probably be more than enough to get them some extra calcium and other multivitamins back into their bodies with their usual feeder insects. And you can also swap up your feeder insects as well. They like wax worms, mealworms, crickets, you name it. Another thing to keep in mind since we're talking about feeding with these guys is to make sure that you're not overfeeding. Overfeeding can be just as much of a problem as is underfeeding. So these guys, when they tend to get overweight, it's kind of hard for them to lose it and it's not good for them and it helps to shorten their lifespans and other things like that. So I would definitely keep an eye on their actual weight and make sure they're still maintaining their slim, streamlined like body. So yeah guys, these are just my five tips on keeping leopard frogs in general. And if you guys wanna see some more tips, tell me down in the comments what you guys think of the video and what are some more tips you'd like to see in the next video. So appreciate you guys for stopping by and we'll catch you on the next episode.